good day. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. Have you ever thought about it? What art is for? And what actually do we need all those paintings and exhibitions and galleries for? This is a question which a lot of us ask ourselves and especially artists. With me is Magdalena Lenartovic, a painter. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> And uh, as we already know from the previous episodes, your path was rough, I mean, strange. You are a historian of art, you work in the marketing, and then eventually you kind of want to, your motherhood actually triggered in you this uh, need to express yourself in the canvases and in art. It's not an easy path to be an artist. After all, you work all the time a little bit with your imagination, yourself and the canvas. Um, so uh, it, it, it requires a lot of self-discipline in many paintings. But uh, my question is then, what do we actually need the art for? Why to spend money on it? Uh, why we need art? Art is the, something that uh, makes your home uh, charmful and uh, calmness. And it's if you like art and if you like and, and this painting, you want to uh, come back to your home and be in your uh, in the presence of this painting yes. as well. So uh, you basically say that art makes a place more a home, more yes. um, <coughs> also nicer to be around and calmer. But so it and is it also the, your aim to create art and work? Yes, that's uh, one of them uh, to aim. Uh, I want to show people that art uh, is something more, something uh, energy and full of joy and <laughs> hope so all oh, that's why we see so many bright colors in your paintings after all they are not dark and gloomy i don't want to so the, all the turpies all the turpies all everyone around the, the gray colors and this is not part of your art no i'm intuition painter and i want to give people the my energy my soul my heart uh, the good feeling uh, good energy so art is a form of therapy in i a way. think yes painting is one of uh, the goal and seeing uh, painting is another form of therapy well that's very interesting how how to well to think about it this way then um, uh, do they, yourself the do specialist have... told uh, that uh, when you uh, watch uh, five minutes to the art your brain is like uh, three hours uh, in walking well in nature i see okay five minutes watching art like three hours walking in nature yes well this is a lot of uh, well uh, saving time <laughs> if you want to calm down a little bit as well but that's my aim <laughs> so uh, do you yourself have uh, paintings at home yes i have uh, a lot of painting but uh, every week i change it <laughs> you change it every week yes. well then your husband has a lot of work to do <laughs> then changing the canvases and uh, so on do you uh, do you create art especially uh, for someone or for customers do you already have like your uh, stable clients who are ordering something uh, sometimes yes but i prefer to have my own uh, intuition and uh, show freedom of freedom of creating Yes. Uh, freedom is a state of mind, so I need to be free <laughs> and brave. And brave, of course, because after all, um, it's still uh, still the art market in Poland is, I would say, in its infancy. So it's growing up a little bit, but it's not like everyone uh, is going to the galleries. Usually people are a little bit intimidated to go and buy something. The Instagram is the best uh, place to sell it. Okay, I see. So you're basically using the... Uh, the modern yes. media and Instagram and well you are a specialist in marketing so uh, <laughs> you I do the something. marketing <laughs> of your uh, own uh, paintings yes I know something about uh, marketing and I use it in my uh, art in your art in, in a way of expressing it yes so n if we have any like people who are thinking about buying a piece of art or, or going to a gallery and finding something for themselves, but they are not sure. What would you advise them? What would be your... Rent an art and see what it's happened in your home. I see, rent a piece of art. Yes. Can we rent a piece of art? Yes, in the gallery we can uh, rent a, a So take it for art. some time to home yes. and just check if it works with your 
uh, it's the best idea environment. to to find if it's fixed to us or it's uh, well uh, it doesn't f suit yes oh interesting renting piece of art and then uh, you can see if it uh, uh, past your home and talking about a little bit uh, home already and uh, education you have two kids do they ever like do you encourage them to paint do they ever do anything with we you we paint every day okay so. you paint every day <laughs> with so, them of with course. them so they are already uh, uh, growing artists i think yes my so. daughter is hania and uh, uh, she loves uh, diamonds uh, like uh, Maya before you okay so she loves the diamond and she loves uh, brocket and uh, sparkling sparkling that's most of the young girls love it as Barbie <laughs> I'm really scared about it but I accept it <laughs> you accept it well fingers crossed and of course to all of you viewers of Poland Daily if you yourself your parents it's a good encouragement to do something artistic and creative with them and of course um, if you are thinking about having a piece of art at home but you're not sure about it renting one is a good idea maybe it passed to your home and see how your environment change with this piece of art with this painting it might be a miracle because as we've heard an art is a way of therapy and again thank you very much for watching Pearl on Daily Culture